May I request you to please keep standing for the national anthem. Good morning, Honorable President of India, Honorable Chief Justice of India, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Mediation and Conciliation Project Committee, Supreme Court of India, Delhi High Court, Mediation and Conciliation Center and Ministry of Law and Justice, I welcome you to the national district level seminar on mediation. The theme of the seminar is mediation and expeditious justice in district courts. To commence today's function, we would like to welcome our esteemed chief guest with the presentation of bouquet. May I request Honorable Chief Justice of India to present a bouquet to Honorable President of India. Thank you, sir. May I now request Honorable President of India, Honorable Chief Justice of India, and all the dignitaries on this dais to kindly come forward to light the ceremonial lamp. Sri Altham Askavi, Chief Justice of India, Sri Salman Khursid, Union Minister for External Affairs, Justice S.S. S. Nijar, Judge Supreme Court of India, and Chairman, Mediation and Conciliation Project Committee, Justice Satantar Kumar, Judge Supreme Court of India, and member mediation and conciliation project committee. Justice Lokur, Judge Supreme Court of India and member media <coughs> medi mediation and conciliation project committee. Sri Justice Murgeshan, Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. Sri Parekh, President Supreme Court Bar Association. Sri P. P. Rao, Senior Advocate. Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court of India, Honorable Chief Justices from different High Courts, Honorable Judges of the High Courts of different High Courts, Distinguished Invitees, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy, it's indeed a privilege for me to inaugurate this national district level seminar on mediation being organized with the theme of the role of district judiciary in strengthening mediation at institutional level. 
Mediation as process of dispute resolution is not new to India. Much before the British arrived and established their colonial rule and practices, the Panchayat system of India was a forum where respected village elders assisted in resolving disputes within the community. Such traditional mediation continues to be prevalent in <coughs> many villages and our tribal communities even today. In pre-British India, mediation was popular among the businessmen. Impartial and respected businessmen were re <laughs> requested by business associations members and other members of the community to resolve disputes using an informal procedure which combined techniques similar to those that exist today. Even though this process lacked legal authority, such mediation process were regularly used and commonly acceptable by Indian disputants. The British regime brought with them the system of Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence, which continues till date. But alternative dispute resolution process continued to reinvent themselves post-independence and in 1987 with the introduction of the Legal Services Authorities Act we saw the revival of the ancient mediation process in the new form of Lok Adalots. It's important to recognize that despite the robust, independent and impartial judicial system in our country, the unfortunate reality is that legal disputes can be both protracted and expensive. There is a high degree of public frustration over the complexity of the laws, long delays, and unproductive use of their resources in litigation. Many social conflicts have also got transformed into legal disputes, which accentuates the problem rather than resolves them. Promotion and popularization of alternative methods of dispute settlement is therefore the need of the hour. Alternate dispute resolution mechanism not only facilitates a speedier justice, but is also a process wherein the parties involved have control over the eventual outcome. This results in quick implementation of the decisions taken and eliminates continued litigation in the form of further appeals. Notably, if a matter gets resolved by mediation, then a substantial part of the court fees deposited by the litigant also gets returned to them. It is for these reasons that throughout the business world, and especially in the common law jurisdiction, there is a recognition that <coughs> properly conducted mediations are the most effective means by which parties in civil and commercial disputes can resolve the matters that divide them. It is well known that mediation can play a very useful role in amicable resolution of the matrimonial and family matters. Disputes among the government departments and agencies are also perhaps best resolved <coughs> through out-of-court mediation rather than litigation. As Joseph Genbaum, an acclaimed mediator of the United States, has said, I quote a few words, an ounce of mediation is worth a pound of arbitration and a ton of litigation, unquote. I compliment the Supreme Court of India for having established in 2005 the Mediation and Conciliation Project Committee 
and for its efforts to promote and encourage alternative dispute resolution methods across the country. Only if alternative dispute resolution becomes an integral part of the Indian judi judicial system, it will be able to truly safeguard the welfare of the common man in India. Stakeholders need to be made fully aware of the nature, merits, limitations and consequences of their action which involved in a dispute. The best way to reach people early in the dispute is through disseminating information about mediation, increasing public awareness and making information on mediation and conciliation generally accessible and available to all. It is not sufficient to popularize mediation in the cities. Awareness needs to reach the grassroots level, especially among youth and students, in order to ensure a wider participation in building up the concept of mediation. I congratulate the organizers for inviting a large number of students to participate in this seminar. People should be encouraged to take first recourse to mediation rather than litigation. There is need for endurance and perseverance on the part of the administration as well as judicial machinery in the above, in, <coughs> in the above regard. Every society is ridden with inertia to be changed. People are aware of the options, but find themselves more comfortable with the time-tested notion of litigation. Litigation has been the first option of those seeking justice, and it is natural for them to move the courts for redressal of their disputes. However, this is where the district courts and judiciary can and should play a major role. They need to be able to convince litigants that mediation offers benefits with a human touch. It has no win winners or losers. It has no limitations or restrictions. It is pragmatic and flexible path that it is in the interest of everyone involved. Mediation at district level would encourage the attitude of amicable settlements. Legal education in today's India also needs to incorporate alternate methods of dispute resolution as an essential course for a new breed of socially conscious lawyers. At a personal level, as someone who has spent quite some time in public life, it is my experience that most disputes become difficult to resolve due to either miscommunication or egoism of the individuals involved. I have always found that effective communication combined with the sensitivity to the concerns of the individuals concerned makes resolution of the most disputes possible. At a very basic level, all that is required is an informal and confidential process and third-party assistance that can help negotiate and amicably resolve matters in the common interest. It is not about cutting the pie, but making all feel victorious in the process. I wish the Mediation and Conciliation Project Committee all success in their endeavors to promote alternate dispute resolution. I call upon all stakeholders gathered here today to take up this cause in full earnest, building on our past traditions and keeping in mind the benefit to the common man. Once again, I congratulate the Supreme, <coughs> Supreme Court Project Committee for taking this initiative and carrying on the tasks entrusted to themselves by themselves. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.